I want to share with you how to use Sora on your personal device. I am currently using this on an, I, on an Apple device, but it can be used on any personal device. You need to add the Sora app. It looks like this. Click on the Sora app. This, set, this recognizes that my school is the Wisconsin Schools Digital Library Consortium. If that doesn't show up, you can click on Not Your Schools, and you're looking for the one that says School District of Rhinelander. So you click on This Is My School. You will have to go, scroll down to the School District of Rhinelander, um, and it will be under S, so School District of Rhinelander. When you are in here, you'll sign in with your district credentials. So you will sign in with, it's not your entire email, it's just the 5 and 3. So you sign in with your 5 and 3, and then your password. And you sign in. Once you are in, you can go to um, search. You can look for a book if you want to find. So say I want to find um, a book to check out. I'm going to go to juvenile literature and I want to borrow. I'll borrow scary stories for young foxes. If I click on borrow, that will then go, it will automatically go to the book and I can read the book right here, or I can select the three arrows and I can search it. I can go to my chapters, my reading settings. Um, I can, my book is right in here and I can read it right here, or I can close that and I can go to my bookshelf. So if I click on my bookshelf, I will find that the books that I've checked out are right here and they are downloaded. I can click right on open book right within there and I can continue reading my book. Um, if you choose to read it on a different device, there's a way that you can add, if I go to options, I can send to a device. If I want to send it to my Kindle, I can send it directly to my Kindle from there. If I want to say that it's done, if I want to say that it's done, I click. I can click return and then I can return that book so it returns early so that it is not still checked out to me. So for instance, this one I click options, I click return, and then I can return that book. So now that book is not checked out to me any longer. So that is how you would you you can read a book on here. If you want to listen to a book on Overdrive on Sora, I am going to explore, I'm going to change my preferences so that I'm looking for only available books and I want, right now, I only want audiobooks. So I'm going to select audiobooks and then I'm going to click apply. And now I can do The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. I'm going to click borrow to The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes and my book will appear right here and I can start listening to my book right in here. If I click close, I can go back to my bookshelf and right now you'll see that it's downloading. Once it's fully downloaded, you will then be able to access that book um, without any internet. So you'll be able to listen to this book without using any data. I can click on open audiobook and my audiobook will play right in there. So that is how you use Sora, the Sora app, when you are wanting to use check out books from our Sora collection, which is our OverDrive collection, which is the Wisconsin Digital Library Consortium collection. If you have any further questions, feel free to ask your librarians.